Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Carnage, and today I wanted. I've in my last video, I showed you guys an unboosted attack with all scorches. This video, I really wanted to show the opposite end of that scale. I wanted to show you sort of like the higher end of what you can do when you're boosting with my sort of a boost, which is six power powder. Um, so you guys can really see the comprehend the comparison between boosted and unboosted and what you can do now this guy had all these eye statues hidden up the top in trees but um you guys didn't see that i just dropped two barrages and four artillery shots to take out that boom cannon there um basically he has double building health and a little bit more than double uh, building damage. So he has like a, it was just under 100% health. I think it was 90 something. The maxed out boom cannon was 500 health off being 26,000. So it was really close to that. And it did an extra 1,400 or something like that in damage. So. Some pretty crazy ice anyway. Uh, anyway, to the video. I'm flanking because I'm seeing these four cannons at the bottom here. I didn't want to deal with them. Um, not when the base is this crazy with ice. So, the only problem here is I'm facing two shock launches at the same time. And with the ice damage being as bad as it is, I'm going to be wasting a lot of gun breaks early. So... Just shocking that stuff, trying to play as smart as I can here. The shocking the shock blasters, using critters to distract these, distract these boom cannons. Sorry, um, but you can see now I've got four shock, four boom cannons still to deal with, and I've got that sh shock launcher that I just shot. Then, um, so my guys are naturally going to take out that took out the first one, now the second one. I've got two boom cannons left. Um, I'm hoping that by shocking that these scorches will get the job done, but I'm not sure about this last one here. Um, looks like they're going to get the job done, sort of doing it by ear. Uh, I probably could have artilleried it if I really had to. Um, also, I'm not real sure what the radius is for Scorches to make them wander. I think it's like three buildings with a gap, with a one like square gap between. So if you flare back and then flare the HQ, they won't wander away. You won't even have to drop the flare on the HQ. Um, but you can see how much health I had left on my guys. I did lose two Scorches through all of that, despite having all of that ice, so... Um, you can see I definitely could have done more. Um, we'll go back to my base. If you look at my statue layout, I've got the GBE requirements, but I've also got two troop damage statues. Now, I personally believe that that's not a good idea for all Scorches, and the reason why I haven't done anything about it is because I'm not really committed to the strategy. If I was to swap even one of these out, for a uh, troop health guardian, I could also do more with that strategy. Um, I'd rec I would only take out one, even if I was to swap. But yeah, it's just to say that if I wanted to do a base with even more ice, that would definitely be an option. And if I full boosted, I could do probably even one up the top at the top fifty, if I really had to. Like, I GBE'd out that Doom Cannon, but I could have easily shocked it and just smoked my way there. I mean, that's not really too much of an issue. Uh, but yeah, that this has been a video, guys. I hope you enjoyed these two videos as a comparison to what you can do with all Scorches with a good boost and without one. Um, so if you liked this video, drop a like. Um... And I'll see you guys in the next one.